Hello there, and welcome back to the next video in our series in where we are learning how to teach with Zoom. The goal of this series is to take you right from the very beginning stages of learning how to use Zoom and signing up for a free account, right through to hosting your online sessions and teaching students in an online setting. Today, we will be focusing on step number four, inviting students to a Zoom session. In our last video, we learned how to schedule Zoom sessions. And we learned that we could find the list of those scheduled sessions on the Meetings tab of our Zoom dashboard. Now in front of us, we have a list of some of the sessions that are scheduled and upcoming. And if we go and open one of them up, so we click on um, any specific one that we would like to take a look at, what we will find is that there is a join URL that is provided there for us. This URL is what students can use to join the Zoom session and sharing it with them can be as easy as sending an email with this URL included. In my classes, my preferred way of providing resources, documents, and links for my students is by compiling them in Google Classroom. I organize all of my content by topic and at the very top of the classwork page, my very first topic is always a getting started section where all the important information for things like Zoom links and class syllabus and other documentation um, that students need sort of year long is located. I find this to be the best method, particularly for the age group of students that I work with, which are middle school students, because this way they don't have to be constantly sifting through their email in order to find links that I've sent. They can find the link and it's always in the exact same place on Google Classroom for them. Now in our last video, one of the ways that we learned that we could create a Zoom session was through our Google Calendar. This actually provides us an additional way in which we can invite students to our Zoom session. If you click on the event that you created and then choose Edit Event, you can add guests to the event. Once guests have been added and you save the event, Google Calendar confirms whether or not you would like to send invitation emails to your guests. The email your participants are sent documents the information that you outlined for it along with a Zoom link and the option for them to add it to their own calendar. Well, there you have it, folks. A few simple ways to invite your students to a Zoom meeting. Coming up in the next video, we are going to investigate how it is that you can launch your very first Zoom session. We're also going to be taking a look at the Zoom desktop client that you use as a host. Um, there's some really interesting things that you can do with that, so you'll definitely want to tune in. If you want to make sure you don't miss the next video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell to make sure that you get a notification when it is posted and live. I'll see you in the next video, everyone.